Let's watch this. Last time on Master Chef. This is season three, episode seven. Of epic proportions. Ew. Balls and there's a brain and there's this massive tongue. And Ryan came out on top. It's a great dish. Putting him in control of the competition. What kind of a gives a live also, crab also, to the blind chick? Yeah. So months. they had a challenge where they had to, they had to get a crab. Well, either it was live or canned, and Ryan, okay. Was the one to choose because he won the sh he won the, the the game. He purposely gave not the canned crab. He gave the live crab to the blind chick, like you're saying. And Christine, that we love, was had to break the crab open with blind, and she cut herself because the crab when she broke the shell and she started bleeding, all because of Ryan, which who. Ryan told other women to flash their tits for more points for his team. Yikes. <laughs> but when his he, strategy uh, backfired, he cook like an I'm angel. Done. Helene was eliminated. Your time in MasterChef is done. Tonight, the remaining home cooks get a 3 a.m. wake-up call. Oh my god. And do battle in one of the busiest kitchens in the country. It was on you, I'm not asleep at 3 a.m. Come on, let's go. As the competition heats up. No cheating. Team members turn on each other. Let Shut him. your mouth, dude. And I'm no, gonna... Spoilers. I don't care. Spoilers. Hello? Fuck, man. It's the middle of the night, and the remaining 14 home cooks are sound asleep at a Los Angeles hotel. But the MasterChef judges are about stream? to change so all that. Hi, you're banned. Oh, banned. Banned, banned, banned oh, my God. Are you awake? Yeah. I hear someone banging on my door. It's 3.30 a.m., and I'm just wondering what the heck is going on. Today, our home cooks are about to get a Let's taste of off. the life of a professional breakfast chef. That means a very early start. Move your house, big boy. Ten minutes downstairs. Okay, I'll We're going to go. Get up, get up, get up. Got to go. I look at the time. It's like 3 in the morning, and I'm like, someone's going to die for this. Someone's going to die. While hundreds of other hotel guests <laughs> remain asleep, the MasterChef contestants have been told to head down to the hotel's wow. kitchen for their latest team challenge. So, here you are, in a professional kitchen, a moment you've all been dreaming of, but you probably didn't expect it in the middle of the night. Your big challenge this morning is working the early rush. So, what was that? Did you get the one from today or yesterday? It's hot. Yeah. All of the breakfast room service orders at this huge Radisson Hotel. What? Like, none of us have even combed our hair, let alone prepared to go start cooking for, like, hundreds of hotel guests. It's just mind-blowing. Listen up. The breakfast rush is the hardest service of the day. People are hungry, no and they're in for a hurry. Us. I am not what you call a morning person. And breakfast is the last thing I want to make right now. The dishes that the hotel guests will be ordering this morning are a delicious oatmeal. Fresh fruit salad, handmade pancakes, egg white omelette, egg benedict, and oh, of wow, course the all-American classic breakfast. Two eggs, any style. Simple, straightforward. I cook breakfast all the time. It, actually, it's one of my favorite meals. I cook for my daughter every morning before school, so I know how to poach my eggs. I know how to oh, scramble. That's cute. I'm feeling pretty good about whoever picks me for their team. Christine and Josh, you had the best dishes in the previous challenge. Both of you are team captains. Come over, please. Even though I'm vision impaired, mm. I've gotten to know everyone's cooking styles well enough to know who I want on my team. I, Christine, you have the win. Chat, you you get Monty and Becky right out right off the rippy. Dish, you're gonna pick first. Monty. This person understands the importance of organization, and because this person works in a restaurant already, my first pick is Felix. Felix. Oh wow. yeah, and Felix, I'm preparing for that. Oh, then he's smarter than me. Felix is a strong team worker, but she also has initiative, and I think that's important to have on a team. Yeah. Okay, so Becky. Good. No, I we took Becky. I used to work in a little breakfast diner, so I'm kind of familiar with a lot of the protocol. It's not about being fancy, it's about being efficient. My next pick is Scott. Scott. Scott, wow. I was gonna say I'm third, third, Frankie. third choice. Frankie. Good. No. My next pick is Tanya. Tanya. No oh, nice. shot, Anna. Monty. Anna. I need more manpower, so my pick is Mike. 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 Wow. Mike has been Monty. sketchy. Monty. Good choice. Monty. Fuck, man. Christine. Christine, next up. 
I would love to have Stacey on my team. Yeah. I did not expect to see you three there, let me tell you. I'm pretty okay. pissed off. Okay. How am I put in the same category as you know Tally why Ryan? Talking. Do people honestly really look at me and think that I'm a weak cook? Because if they do, then they got something else coming. This next person I choose has a really good palate in mind for food. Tally. Tally. David Martinez. What? Oh, OK, take him. I don't care. But Tally, get Tally. The last two to be Christine, really guys. shows their judgment skills. Christine? They can clearly not tell talent when it's right in front of their face. Christine. Christine? Don't you fucking dare. I don't want either one of them on my team, so it's pretty much choosing the lesser of two evils. Yeah, you well said. Tally. My last pick is Ryan. Wow. Christine! Wow. What the fuck? Tally, come over and join the blue team. I'm standing there in disbelief. I can't believe I am the bottom pick right now. I don't deserve to be last. I should be first. Christine, because you had the best dish in the last challenge, a we're giving you another know. advantage in this challenge. Big one. Right now, you have the power to switch out one member of your team with one member of Josh's team. Oh. <laughs> Ryan. I'll remove Ryan. 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 Yeah! For big, this for is big garbage Monty. that I'm getting traded like this. I am not looking forward to Moana. it at all. And who do you want to take? I'm taking Becky. Becky! Wow. She's so smart. She's Becky so fucking good. Becky was Josh's first pick, Dude. so immediately oh, I know that it's I going can't. to be a thorn in his side and it'll hit him hard, and I know that I'm... Guys, she fucking knew the whole time. She, she's way, way ahead of us. She knew that we are going to swap. She got the weakest, and she gave him the dog shit. Going to build an even stronger team. And she team. joined Becky. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Both teams have got 90 minutes to prep and then 90 minutes to serve. Each team needs one expediter. He or she will be overseeing every cart that leaves, making sure that it leaves within its window of time. It is a hugely, hugely important job. Christine, who do you want as your expediter? Scott. Felix. Felix. Christine picked me as the expediter for her team. I'm a food runner, so I feel completely confident doing that. And Josh, what about you? I'm gonna choose Monty on this one. Monty, good, good I'm idea. I'm pretty confident that Monty will be able to perform as the expediter for our team. Smart because choice. Because of her organization skills and the attention that she puts into her plates and every other challenge that we have. You'll begin serving breakfast at 7 a.m. Excited? Yes, chef. Your 90 minutes prep time starts now. Off you go. She's on energy, In she yells, she's good chance. The hotel guests have pre-ordered their breakfast and specified a delivery time. Each team has 130 orders. Satisfied customers will hang a tag of the team's color on their door. The team with the least number of tags will face a pressure test. I want you two cutting the fruit for the fruit salad. I want they you to get on the order. Oatmeal. Frankie, I want you on the, uh, on the pancakes. Josh just says, OK, you're doing this, you're doing that. He just assigns jobs, more of a dictatorship kind of thing. In my opinion, it's what? smart to ask everybody, what is it that you like to make so that people can have passion in what they're doing? Unlike the blue team, the red team is working out stations democratically. I'm going to probably do Shut prepping up. and then egg beating. Yeah. I'm good with pancakes and proteins. I can do bacon on the flat tops. So we huddle okay, up and immediately Gaia. assess strength and weaknesses. Good start. I definitely think we're going to win it. Big challenge. I mean, first time in a real kitchen, they look like proper chefs. Yeah, they're in yeah. the right outfits. They just got to cook like them. Exactly. This is all about <laughs> organization, right? Breakfast. Everything comes but together with the, uh, with the prep here my bulletin board. It's got every item that we're cooking. So that way, no one has any questions as to what they have to cook. I laid out my board in a way where I could read it because I know that I'm going to be the one reading it anyways. And I started prepping to help my team. Okay. Gordon like that, is like worried that. that the red team haven't made nearly enough sauce for their Eggs Benedict orders. You've got enough portions for Hollandaise for 10, and you've got 25 in order. And there's only 35 minutes to go before we start serving. Chef, I'm confident I can make another batch. No, no, Hollandaise is not the kind of batch you can make when you start. It's got to be made beforehand. So if I was you, I'd just step up a gear a little bit. 25 minutes left, blue team. 25 minutes on the clock before our orders need to start yeah, okay. going up. The bacon scorched. 
You know what I mean? The spinach isn't cooked all the way through. Just make sure you're not going into service and then finding out I can't use that. Monty's going to be expediting, but she's going to be expediting a bunch of plates of crap if you can't get your guys organized. No more cutting on this table. Figure out where else you're going to cut. I have to expedite on this table. OK, OK, Monty, OK, Jesus Somebody's Christ. Somebody's getting testy over there. While expediter Monty is being very vocal on the blue team, over on the red team, Captain Christine is becoming increasingly concerned by Felix's silence. Felix, is there anything you need? I feel like I'm having trouble hey, communicating with Felix, who's my expediter. I'm not getting any feedback, oh, so it's come on. frustrating. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven o'clock. Here we go. It's 7 a.m. and the 90-minute breakfast room service begins. Monty, what do you need next? Talk Hold to on, me. dude. Talk to me. Look at the board. It's right there. As soon as we started cooking, people stopped looking at the oh bulletin God, board Felix, so and started I asking me, how many right? eggs do I need to cook? I don't know. Felix, Why don't you look at the board? I have 150 <laughs> tickets in front of me, and I have to figure out how to put it all together. Do we have the holidays? Got it! Do we have the muffins and the scrambled eggs? <laughs> While Monty struggles to keep the blue team on track, the red team is having a total communication breakdown. Felix, like you're the only one that can excite. We need to get these plates out. We have a server here waiting for the food. The pressure in this kitchen is insane. It's loud, it's hot. Nice. It's knives everywhere. I mean, eggs hey. flying, potatoes flying, you know. It's insane. I got a scrambled egg. I need a plate. You guys get plates. I don't know what's going on. People are just shouting all around me. Help, Felix! We need to get stuff out. It's chaos right now. It's the remaining 14 home cooks' first time in a professional kitchen. Oh, get it. Each team must cook 130 breakfast room service orders at a busy Los Angeles hotel. Well done, Monty. Keep it going, huh? All right. Really good go, job. Go, go, go. Thank you, sir. The blue team's first orders are quickly moving up to hotel guests. Pancakes? But oh. over on the red team, visually impaired Captain Christine instead. is frustrated at her team's progress so far. Felix, get the food on the plate. Come in, come in. Over Red team, listen to me. The blue team are sending way more Pancakes rooms Pancakes are not, you guys. not even You've the 1% of what a crepe is. Please okay. tell people what to do, okay. what they need to get on there, okay? All right, I'm trying my best. I didn't hear much from Felix, which is, is key. A crepe is a delicacy. I feel like a pancake is the American version of it, okay? It's fat and void. She's the only one that can look at the tickets and know what needs to go on which plate. Hey, what do we need? Felix, communicate with them. She's not pulling help where she needs it, and she's trying to do everything herself. Right, Felix, yes. Felix, yes. Felix. Yes. An expediter needs to talk. And for the last five minutes, you've just shut down, and there's no communication going on. You have got to talk to your team. Yeah, I'm in way over my head. When you have, you know, five people yelling at you all at the same time, you really can't think. If we lose today, it's going to be my head on the breakfast this have to paint on though, the blue team, problem. there are no communication issues for Puerto Rican-born Monty, who's yelling out orders in both English and, that's what and are for. Spanish. Go, go, go! Open a mesa! Open a mesa! It's a big difference between the red team and the blue team. The blue team, you know, even though it looks a little bit more frantic and sort of chaotic in there, Monty's actually doing a good job. More tables, please! Red team got backed up. All of a sudden, Felix turned into a control freak and wasn't delegated. She's running around like a headless chicken. The expediter, rule number one, is to communicate. Mm -hmm. The minute yeah. you stop communicating, you're in trouble. But oh, Monty's carrying again. It. Oh, yes. Fuck! The blue team has been pumping out orders for more than 45 minutes, so Joe heads upstairs to see if the hotel guests are satisfied. Good morning, room service. Hello, we have your breakfast. Wonderful. May I come in? Absolutely. So you have the oatmeal and the eggs benedict from the blue team. Okay. Great. Enjoy it. The blue team's food was very good. I had the eggs benedict, and it was uh, very flavorful. I've ordered the uh, pancakes, and I like the consistency of the blue team's, you know, like Grandma used to make. Happy customers mean votes for the blue team. 
While the blue team gets good reviews upstairs, downstairs, the red team continues to struggle. We're gonna run out of Hollandaise. Why is she like As Gordon her. predicted, the red team has run out of Hollandaise, and Felix is cutting corners. Felix? Yes. Felix. That's not good enough. Eggs Benedict gets nappied, and the egg gets covered. Oh my god. With Hollandaise. Okay. This is not a dessert okay. with chocolate sauce. Start again, please. I hear Felix getting chewed out for putting only a drizzle of hollandaise sauce on the eggs benedict. Not being able to see and being team captain, it's very difficult. I need my team members to step up and just take ownership of what they're doing. We need more hollandaise. Make sure we don't run out. Tanya, are you in the hollandaise? Christine, I'm on it. Can they really make you a better? Christine is so vocal, it's extraordinary. She is really kind of rising to the top, as we say. She's taking control. More importantly, now there's great communication going on. You guys need to work. Christine's take charge attitude is winning praise from the judges, but in this challenge, it's votes from satisfied hotel guests True. that matter. We have the breakfast prepared by the red team for you. The hollandaise sauce was amazing. The eggs were perfectly cooked. So the red team's healthy omelet. The ingredients were awesome. Presentation was great. It doesn't have enough flavor, so it immediately needed a little salt and pepper. 25 minutes to go, guys. The red team Chai, continues if you copy, you're to get, get the, orders the, out. Chai, if you copy, if you copy the bot, we're the filling team, the bot now. Gordon you discovers copy the bot, you're gonna get banned. Are slipping. Eighteen dollars. Is that it on fruit? Who put the fruit on there? I did. Look at me. I did. That was so, a mistake on my part. That's a mistake. No way. No way. No way. Would you pay eighteen bucks for that? That's dog shit. You know that's not cooked. Oh, what is that? You're cooking them. He's Dave, taking them. Back at it you're again. serving them. It's raw. We are getting played Dave, out again by with the, 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 the it, he's, he's the wrong guy. He's the wrong guy. The whole thing's a disaster. We need an over easy again. This one's broken, and we need three orders of scrambled eggs. Ryan, yes. what are you doing besides watching I've them asked work? Everybody for help if they need any help. Okay, let's get organized. The kitchen is crazy and hectic. I'm looking around at Ryan and. He looks a little confused, standing around, looking, wondering what's going on, and I'm getting frustrated. Things are about to go from bad to worse as Joe heads downstairs with a serious customer complaint for the blue team. Oh. Oh, Joe's mad. We have a hair. We have a hair on a plate. Customer sent it back. Disgusting. Uh, uh, guys, please. It's the expediter's road to make sure hair is in on plates, and so when it comes down to that, I think it all falls down on Monty. Monty okay, make sure dude. the plates are clean. We came back with a hair. It's not mine, my hair is this short. Well, it's not mine, my hair is super long. Come on, guys. You're better than that. I think I'm doing a better job than anyone else on my team because they can't handle scrambling an egg. How are they going to handle putting together all these meals? 12 minutes to go until breakfast is over, guys. Cali. Let's go. On the red side, it's carts Cali, are rolling this as again. Felix finally finds her voice. Let's start setting up these All-American. Let's put the potatoes on there. All-American, here are your potatoes. Meanwhile, on the blue team, a power struggle threatens to destroy their earlier lead. Huh? Let Shut him... your mouth, dude. And I'm no, you shut your mouth. You shut your mouth, dude. Guys, we're a team. Stay as a team. Josh is moving my plates around and starts trying to tell me how to work it. It's like, why don't you stick to putting out some delicious food? Because you're not doing a very good job at that right now. What's the deal with these pancakes? They're getting cold. We need to get them out of here now. Listen to the blue team now. I mean, think of it as a ship or a submarine. It's, yeah. it's, it's not even a mutiny. It's just a... What's the red team? What's the red team? Cluster. So the cold. Too cold. No, they're not. They're too cold. They're dude, not hot. We need hot. hot. Those are hot. They're cold. Well, get them going, they're dude. flappy. Look at this. Dude, that was a hot... That's ridiculous. What is going on? What is going on? There are massive outbursts between Monty and Josh. I could just see the entire team dynamic falling apart and crumbling around me. Open oh, in your face right here. What else do you need? Tomato! Okay. A disaster. What the fuck is happening? Just over five minutes left. Finish strong. Breakfast service at this busy hotel is coming to an end for the remaining 14 home cooks. Red team, blue team, it's still all to play for. It's neck and neck. Come on, let's go. All plates must be on the carts by 8.30 a.m. She's still not, she's still not talking. So both teams scramble to get their final orders completed. We need eggs benedict right now. I got mom, it's getting cold. Behind, hop in behind. So Red it's getting to the end of service, balls. and I'm confident that all our dishes were Ooh. absolutely delicious. Pancakes up. I'm pretty sure that we had the red team beat. 
when it comes to the food. The, these ones are ready. Thank you. It just depends on how much food they all got out, but I'm confident in the flavorings of our food. Last minute. One minute to go. One more Once again. Left, guys. Let's go. Grab Grab it. Egg, pork Grab sausage, it. wheat. One order of pancakes. 30 seconds to go. Felix, pancakes. Don't cover right, the bus. Beautiful. Don't do a chat. Last dishes. I need them now. Wait, okay, one ticket left. Nine, eight, seven, Felix. six, five. Felix, get those out. Four, Felix, run. Three. Felix. It's not happening. It's not happening. One. And stop. Come on. Good job, Blue. They lose a vote. Well done. It's okay, I got those coming. Time is up, but Felix is still trying to send out food. No, stop. Don't cheat. Come here. Put it down. Do you want to get disqualified? No, I don't. OK, so you're taking food out. I've already said stop. Huh? I've just told you time is up. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no, so look funny. at me. No, no. No cheating. Guys, she knew what she was doing. I'm not trying to. So when I say stop, what does that mean? That means stop. I'm not surprised about that team cheating, because it's probably the only way they're going to win. Who the fuck I'm are you? I'm wanting to throw my arms up in the air because I don't know what the hell's going down. And I'm team captain, and I'm, I just feel like our team is going under. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no. I wish that I was better organized, that I could have done a better job telling everyone what to do instead of trying to do everything on my own. It just breaks my heart that if we lost today, it would be my fault, you know, for not doing a better job. Bring it in right here. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it in. Okay. Yeah, 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 she's not Bottom sad. Line, you She's guys, getting some free points from the judges. Cooked, and we just ran a service for the busiest yeah. hotel in the country. Strategic. It's insanity, dude. Yeah. Thank you. She knows what she's doing. We're chilling, boys. Like We're we chilling. I have a good chance, considering a lot of the people on that team have never even stepped foot inside the back of a restaurant before. It's yeah, the end wins. of the busy breakfast service. The decision is now in the hands of the hotel guests. Oh, nice. Bird of As Paradise. Joe totals up all the door tags Flowers. from satisfied customers, the teams wait anxiously to find out who won and who will be facing the upcoming pressure Chat. test. Red's gone. You guys, I, I like Felix. Like I'm she, she super nervous up. before the judges announce who's going to be going into pressure test. Um, I just definitely don't want to be in that position again. Joe has collected the results. The scores on the doors are in. Joe. One team got 60% of the vote. Yeah, that's blue. And one oh. team got 40% of the vote. I look at my team, and I'm extremely confident that we're going to win this challenge. Yeah, With I know, Josh. 60% of the vote, the winning team is blue team is the red team but hey hey rigged rigged fuck yeah <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll take a big game we'll we take those really shed tears of joy we don't have to face the pressure test yeah oh leading a team to victory is a huge accomplishment for me I feel awesome, like I've climbed that entire ladder from bottom to top. Red team, congratulations. The red team wins a challenge, and wow. It's just awful. So congratulations, you you best. Team. You led them into victory, well done. Yeah. Really well done, indeed. Blue team, you know Chat. what happens when uh, you lose guess, a challenge. I'll be honest with you guys, guys. I, I like Josh. I think his leadership was detrimental. Smart. Really well done, indeed. Blue His team. leadership wasn't that good. You know what happens when you lose a challenge. Sorry. Sadly, you're going to face a very tough, a very daunting pressure test where at least one of you will be checking out of the MasterChef kitchen forever. The sucks. I really did believe we won this one. One of us is going to go home, and it could be any one of us. See you back in the MasterChef kitchen. Yes. Good job, Red what Team. Well done. Fun. Chat, guys. Let's, guys, let's let's try to remain within reason. Tally, Josh, or um, pasta guy. As the winning red team heads inside, the blue team prepares itself for the pressure test, knowing for at least one of them, 
This will be their last day in the MasterChef kitchen. I freaking totally wanted to avoid every pressure test. Me too, man. I wonder what they're conspiring over there. Today is a competition. Her. You and I are definitely an alliance, but everyone else, I could care less. Clearly, you know who I want to yeah, go home. Yeah, we want Monty to go home. What? Some girls have like one screw loose. I feel like she has like 30 different screws loose. Monty is to blame for us losing this challenge. And Says I'll be happy you. to have the last laugh when Monty is walking herself out of the MasterChef kitchen. Ding dong, the witch is dead with a capital B. Yesterday, what the you were a team, fuck? but today, it's every cook for themselves. One of you will be eliminated forever from the MasterChef kitchen. Taste test, come Three on. Of you will not be competing in this pressure test. Here's the thing, you will not be deciding who's safe. We will. Monty's safer. I'm praying to every saint that I know that I'm one of those three people. No shot. We scrutinize <laughs> and listen hey, hey, to everything. Shut the fuck out. We know exactly who the heroes are, and we know who is completely out of their depth. I'm confident that they're gonna pick me. No. Clearly, I have to be one of those three. Joe. Dave. Who are you sending upstairs to Tally. safety? Sally. The person that I think. And girl deserves to miss the pressure test, did their job in a diligent way. Monty, David. David, Martinez. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go upstairs, you're safe. David, seriously? The guy can't Chad. cook and he's in The thing with David chat is that he's, he's a good pretender. Okay, he, he's good at looking like he's doing something when he's just throwing it. Infectious negative energy. It, it is what it is. It's good for the judges. Right. For me, it's clear. This person what he does. was able to stay focused in the face of chaos. And that person is Frank. Frank, Frank. Frank? Frank and David are safe from the pressure test. And Frank. I'm pretty confident I'm the last one. This person oh, yeah, he was never doing pancakes. stopped. Monty. Not just Monty. across the 90 Monty. minutes of prep, but across the 90 minutes of service. Right to the very last dish. The person I'm saving. Monte Cristo. Josh. Monty. It's not you. <laughs> Monty, upstairs, please. Congratulations. Well done. I'm pretty pissed that Monty's up there safe and not me. It's like a blow to the gut, because I was definitely the backbone of the team. Oh, I'm pissed off. And the judges sent by two arch nemesis is up the stairs. And now here I am, down in the trenches, having to fight for my life. So, for the four of you who That's remain... That's dirty. I'm sorry to tell you, but today's pressure test is a dessert. Oh. That still to this day terrifies chefs across the world. It involves elements of a cake and a souffle. It's... What? A stunning... technical... molten lava, lava cake. Lava cake, yeah. This is not your average dessert. This is a performance. When you slice into one, it just melts. You should be rewarded with a chocolate gooey surprise. Oh my God. Leave it in the oven too long. You've got a brownie. Take it out too soon and you've got a mess. All four of you, on your stations, please. Let's go. I thought they were going to do a show me soon. On. on your stations, you have identical ingredients. Flour, sugar, eggs, chocolate, powdered sugar, cinnamon, and butter. And you have four attempts to get the perfect cake. If at any point you think you've nailed it, bring it up to us straight away. Because that is the cake you'll be judged on. You're 45 butter. minutes. Start butter. from. Butter. Butter. Remember that, Jeff? Good luck. Butter. Creating a perfect Butter. molten lava cake requires Classic. preparing a batter with the exact amount of a few basic ingredients. The cake must be removed from the oven at precisely the right moment, just long enough for the outside to cook while the inside remains liquid. One second either way can be the difference between success and failure.
This is a real pressure test. The temperature in the oven has to be hot enough to sort of almost crisp up the outside. Right, but still mm -hmm. liquid in the center. What so about I, flavor? Rich. The reason why I went upstairs is that he was not on pancake duty. Also a little bitter. The What's easiest the thing on earth. The strategy now is to make the mix, mm -hmm. split into four. Pancakes, come on, they're a joke. And then adjust and use that first one as a dummy run. First one's a trial. Absolute yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Who might be crazy enough of these four contestants to bring up their first one? Tally. Tally. Dude, right blob, now it's wait, a matter flip, of done. getting the chocolate mixture ready for the lava cake. I got two ovens and two hands and four ramekins is what my life comes down to. Tally is good. He's got a good I technique don't being a and test. knowledge. The fact that Chef Ramsey the... said Monty was vocal the whole time absolutely pissed me off. Ten minutes gone. He's just done. Got to get one in the oven. He, he needs to simplify it. Right. Hey, Chef. How are you feeling? I'm very nervous. Right. You're sort of disappearing. I'm... Almost like a little mouse and yet... I get so frustrated because you can cook. I can. Good luck. Thank you. How are we doing, man? I'm not much of a baker, I guess. Okay. So this wasn't like my dream pressure test. Do you here. think that you belong down here? I mm -hmm. think Monty should definitely be down here. Monty? Yeah, 100%. What? What happened with Monty? Why do you think that? It was a complete communication breakdown. She didn't operate the team well. She didn't handle the prep time right. Oh, she didn't add up the numbers right. Josh, she didn't you have a good system. Moron. This is not true. You know, she might have been vocal, but she was vocal in all the wrong ways. Ryan, f you, dude. You deserve to go home. You're a jerk. So I'm just because I'm just a little frustrated, but I'm not going to let it affect my food. You know what it means? Honestly, I would love to just slap him around. I know Ryan okay, rubbed a lot of people in the wrong way, but there's a softness to him and a kindness to him and a spirit to him that is unmatched. Sorry, what the fuck are you saying? He rubbed a lot of people in the wrong way. Honestly, I would love to just slap him around. I know Ryan rubbed a lot of people in the wrong way, but there's a softness to him and a kindness to him and a spirit to him that is unmatched. Shut up. 15 minutes gone. There's got to be something in the oven in order for you to test. An actual Callie, pair of social shrimp. What is that? I got two in going right now. Two One off the first batch. Yeah. So, so who in this group of four is going to go home today? I think Josh is gonna go home to be Josh? Yes. Josh, Maybe your buddy Ryan yeah. might go home. I hope Ryan doesn't go home. Remember, these take minimum 15 minutes to cook. If you don't have them in the oven, better do it now. They were all too late putting the first one in the oven, because how are you gonna test it? Cooking blind. Cooking blind. Okay. Editors, editors. Looking at the first test. Really, dude? Coming out of the oven now. I don't, yes, I don't see any coming out of the oven yet. No. The way Ryan, Ryan is, what is he doing? Is he Ryan's one got out? one. He's got one. He looks undercooked from here. Mm -hmm. Ryan just going to collapse. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's definitely wrong. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh my God. God. Just it's diary it on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> the first one that I put oh, in was yikes. intended to be a test run all the way. I wanted to try to feel out the timing of it. I just hope that my second one is more firm. I look in the oven and the my first one, it's not baked. Baked, so it's a I soup, lady. freaking out. If it's undercooked, it's gonna sink. It's gone. Josh has collapsed. Yeah. Seven oh my minutes God. to go. When pulling the second one out, it looks much firmer than the first one did. It's gonna collapse. It's gonna collapse, right, Ryan? It's gonna collapse, right? <laughs> now my entire fate lies in the last one. Five no, minutes. No, no, wait, is that one? Wait, what? The, wait, what? The, wait, no, he only had two. Tonight's like, pressure hey, test is to armor. bake a perfect molten lava cake. At any time now, you can serve. The home cooks get just four yeah, chances four. and 45 minutes to cook, test, and present one perfect gooey-centered cake to the judges. Five minutes remaining. Come on. But with time running out, Whatever. no one has presented their cake. Montali. I was going to cut into this as a test, but nope, my other cake's probably been there just as long. So I said to myself, you know what? No. I'm going to take a gamble on this is going to be the cake. It's to ripped inside. To the Are you serving that, Tully? I'm um, serving it. I want to hit. Let's go. Let's go then. It's bricked. No shot. It's fucking right. bricked. You're happy with that? I hope so. Oh. Oh, oh. It's, fu 
It's bussin'. It's bussin'. Hey! He has oozed out. Maybe too. What are you doing? It's the whole point of a lava cake. Too much. I think it was a touch underdone. Four minutes to go. I take my cake out of the oven. Oh my oh, god. Good it's job, beautiful. Man. And I can tap the surface. It has a little dimple in it. It looks good. And I am so relieved. I'm serving in 15 seconds. Okay. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. Oh. Good job. Yeah. Bomb. I can tell by the facial expressions of the judges, it's good. Mm. Gordon seems a little smug, but what's new? Three hey. minutes to go. Come on. Josh? When I pull out my second molten lava cake, I feel like this is the best I can do within the amount of time. Let's see it, brother man. Two minutes to go. Come on. Ooh. Nice job. Oh, wait a minute. Serving in 15 seconds, chef. The color, I'm though. Extremely happy. This cake is a beautiful sight to see. Wait, it's perfect. All right, Josh. Oh, it looks great, Josh. Oh shit! It's still porous. It's not even. Good job, it's... Josh. Okay. Thanks. Actually, bussin'. It's a tiny bit watery, perhaps. Sixty no, seconds fine. to go. I'm freaking out right now. There's only a minute left, and every second counts. Jeez, dude. Ryan. Forty-five seconds. Let's go. I'd be freaking myself. 30 seconds nope, to go. Nope, it's done. GG's. Nope. Run, hurry up. Bring the plate, go. 10. Come on! Walk it, walk it. Go, go, go! But the sugar on top. Five, four, three, two, run! One, and serve. Where is he going? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Look at his face. That's dog shit. That's fucking dog straw in that pocket. That's dog shit. I am so bummed out right now. I'm not a scientist in baking in the kitchen. I'm a magician in the kitchen, and this does not lend well towards me. I'm just hoping at this point that it tastes better than the other a people's magician? cakes. A magician? Who is he talking to? I mean, it tastes good. Unfortunately, it's undercooked. But ties is very flowery. Absolutely. To me. And it's too sugary. Mm -hmm. In the mix, especially in the middle, too, not cooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was definitely 45 minutes of pressure. Let me tell you. Josh, Anna. Step forward, please. Yep, they, probably, they both went hard on this one. Both of you, in our minds, produced a molten lava cake of pure perfection. Congratulations. Chat, I'm good. What well, I think, I think Josh wins because the outside crust Josh was all unified. great precision because you did work under pressure and you nailed that pressure test. Porous, Pretty spongy, good job. nice. Anna, your cake was as good as any it cake didn't you could have in a restaurant. And quite frankly, you took a pressure test and turned it into a demonstration for the rest of these contestants on how to create baking perfection. Congratulations. We've Thank never you. seen anything like that. Thank you. You nailed it. Thank you, chef. Take you and Josh upstairs. Hey, to the who wins though? Okay, well done.
So I'm there with Ryan, my closest ally, and either one of us could go home right now. This is no joke. Tally, just stop. Just stop. Ryan, Tally. You've bonded in this competition. This really sucks. How could they possibly destroy the dream team so early on? The dream one team? One of the molten lava cakes stood up. Tasted flowery. Mm -hmm. Tasted bland. Was cold in the center. Tally is done. The other one tasted good, but it wasn't cooked sufficiently. I hope Ryan goes home today. He does not belong in the MasterChef kitchen. Ryan has taken a lot of punches in this competition so far, but he's not a bad person. Tali's got to go what? home. If you can't put flavor on the plate, you're not going to put it past these judges. I think both of them need to go home. The person leaving what the, the MasterChef kitchen this is... Tally. Guys, Tally. Ryan, Tally. I'm going to turn Guys, this Tally showed everything. I'm sorry. I don't like Ryan Chapman, but Tally's been trolling the entire show. That individual who knows who he is that didn't produce a stunning molten lava cake to act on integrity and to be noble and to come up here and hand me their apron. Don't bait this time, though. Don't bait him. Tally? Tally. No, what the fuck? Oh, my gosh. No, they're not going to accept it. They won't accept it. Tally, upstairs. I thought it was a noble move by Ryan to give his what? apron up. Ryan was my really close friend, and now I carry the torch for the both of us. How what? You feel? Disappointed. You're disappointed. We're disappointed. Guys, I, so I hate you Ryan, but... The competition brilliantly. I don't like I this I did either. not expect you to present a molten chocolate soup on that plate. Thank you, Ryan. Please take your apron and put it onto your station and leave the MasterChef kitchen. Must that have this scripter. Clearly, that chocolate molten lava cake got the best of me today. I just feel sick to my stomach that this is the note that I'm going to be leaving on. This has been an incredible experience for me. I'm very thankful for rebuzzle. having the chance to yeah, show the rebuzzle. judges what I could do. Thank you very much. I met a lot of great people. I wouldn't trade it for anything. This has reinstilled in me how good of a cook I am. I guarantee that you have not seen the last of the flavor elevator. Oh, we have it. Get the fuck off the show. That was a serious pressure test. From now on in, Goodbye, Ryan. we're going to turn it up. Get some rest. You're going to need it. <laughs>